I was born and raised here in LaGrange. So this is home for me and this is why I'm here. I went to elementary school at Hollis Hand Elementary. I graduated high school in 2010 from LaGrange High School. I've lived here until I went to college at Georgia. So I did my undergraduate all four years at the University of Georgia, go dogs. Was obsessed with school, so I didn't stop there. After I graduated from Georgia, I moved back home. I knew that this is where I wanted to live because this is where I grew up. This is where I want to call home. This is where I want to grow my family. And so I moved back home and I started teaching here and I stayed in school. So I went and got my master's from Columbus State. Then I went and got my specialist from Liberty University. And then I just finished up with my doctorate from Liberty University as well. I can tell you every teacher I had from kindergarten to high school. I loved my teachers and they played such a huge role for me growing up and I really believe that I have a calling for teaching. I love kids. We are able to connect really easily and very quickly. We're able to build relationships and that's what I love to do. I honestly cannot imagine doing anything besides working with kids. And it's more than the content for me. So I do teach sixth grade social studies, but what brings me here every single day is just knowing that I get to work with the kids. And teaching is my passion and it is my calling. And I do believe that God put me on this earth to work with kids. I am the competition cheer coach here at Lone Cane Middle School. I've taught for six years and I've coached for six years. Cheerleading is one of my huge passions as well. I have cheered or been involved with cheerleading my whole life. So I started with the rec department here in LaGrange when I was very little, I think I was six years old and I cheered for the rec. And then I got to LaGrange High School and I cheered competitively, I cheered for basketball, I cheered for football. And then I was fortunate and blessed that when I got to the University of Georgia, I also got to cheer. And I cheered competitively at UGA, which was awesome. And honestly, I couldn't imagine teaching without coaching as well. So that's a big part of my life, coaching, cheer, huge part of my life. One of the biggest accomplishments was in 2019, which was a total shock. I was named the Long Cane Middle School Teacher of the Year. That was huge. and. I thought I was done and that was it, but then it went a little further and I was named the middle school teacher of the year. So I was the teacher of the year for all three middle schools here. And I'm like in shock. They showed up to my classroom with flowers as I'm teaching. I look out the door and then there's this huge group of people out there and they named me the middle school teacher of the year, which was very exciting, honestly, just because they're honoring me for something I love to do. And then I was named the Troop County System School Teacher of the Year, which was amazing. I didn't see that coming. Again, because I don't teach for the awards or the honors, I teach because I love to do it. Watching the kids every day, seeing the difference that I can make in their lives, being somebody that they can trust, being someone that can do more than teach them the content. I'm really big on being that person in the school that the kids can come to if they're uncomfortable with something, if there's something going on at home. I always wanted to be that person that kids can open up to. And I think that God put me on this earth to work with kids and to do more than just teach the content. And then watching them learn, watching them grow, just really building those relationships. I think that's what makes me a good teacher is that I'm able to build the relationships. It's funny because everybody can tell you you're doing a good job, but when my kids are like, you're my favorite teacher, or you helped me do this, or I still remember when we did this, or I love to hear you make social studies fun. Those are the things that keep me coming and keep me going. Last year when COVID first hit and we got out of school early, I got this new obsession with TikTok. I love the videos, I love posting videos. It's been another way for me to engage with my students. And I'm obsessed with Netflix. So binge watching any kind of TV show, it's my thing to do. That's what I do for fun. That's what I do to decompress, to calm me down. If I'm stressed out, I'll go turn on an episode of Grey's Anatomy or something like that and it'll cheer me right up. LaGrange is home for me. 
It's where I grew up. It's where I see my future. I love our school system. We have excellent teachers and leaders, and I love that LaGrange is a small town. We're not a huge town, but we're still developing. I love that it's a place where I can see me starting a family. I love that we support local businesses. We have so many local and small businesses. People here are great. They're so supportive. I love LaGrange. It's, it's a small town. It's a great place to live. We have so many things to do. We have art museums. We have Wild Leap. We have anything you can imagine we have. We have this amazing walking trail that they're developing and they're going to continue to develop. And so. It's a really good place to be. It's a really good place to live and it's it's home. It's my roots and it's it's where I want to be. I'm Dr. Travi Arasul and I'm the story of Lagrange.